Hi, so Mrs H Psychology. This time it is for the research methods section. So paper two, predominantly um, research methods is in paper two, although as you know, it'll come into paper one and paper three. So this is for AQA Psychology. So here is the question. It is state a suitable hypothesis for this study. We give you this term here. So you can pause the video, have a look at that. The thing to note here is that the developmental psychologist was interested in how play of siblings was influenced by their temperament. Okay, remember our hypothesis is a prediction of a specific outcome. So this, this is important to pick up on. Okay, so let's see what we need for this. And actually table one, so you have a look at, there's the findings, there's the result that they give you as well. Cooperative play and conflict play with the emotional siblings and the calm and placid siblings and there's the results. So let's have a look at how we write this suitable hypothesis. Okay so I've got another one on how to write operational hypotheses but here I'm assuming you know how to write them so there will be a significant difference all right because it is going to be two-tailed. We don't know which way um, which way results would go so we're just leaving it open and we're stating there's going to be a significant difference. The so test of difference is not a correlation it's not a relationship they're looking for a difference between the two groups so and then we need to specify the um, whatever the DV is so in the type of play behavior and that isn't enough to operationalize so we need to say whether it's either cooperative or conflict play that's your DV and then depending on whether the child or the children were described as and here are your IVs whether they are emotional or calm placid siblings Okay, so one mark for saying that for writing it as a two-tailed hypothesis because they're interested in justifying that, including both um, IV conditions and also the DV. So you get another mark for making sure you've got both conditions of the IV and the DV in there. And the third mark is making sure you operationalize those. The operationalizing is really important and you should just pick up on whatever they, they give you in the STEM. Okay, so they will give you the information. So you need to pick that out from the STEM.